Hey there, welcome back to the channel Panther Schools. My name is Amit Singh and in this video we are going to talk about the summer 25 release features uh, related to flow. Currently summer 25 release feature is not available in all the uh, all the Salesforce orgs. I have uh, early access because I have signed up for the pre-release pre org and I have opened if you see here my screen that I have opened all the this is my pre-release org and this is one of my org which is uh, uh, this is one of my org which is not a pre-release pre org it is a developer org so we will compare the features which are basically currently into this uh, developer org with the features that are currently there into the pre-release org so the very first feature is the new improved ui for creating the new flows before summer 25 release what actually we had is if you are into the automation application and you click on new button to create a new flow then only you basically see the improved ui for creating the flow like i have i was there into the automation application i clicked on new and then it taken me to uh, it has taken me to this uh, new improved ui where i see the different options for creating the flow right however if i go to the setup and then we basically go to the home page or anywhere uh, from where you wanted to get the flow by navigating to the flows and selecting the flows here or you click on this uh, create button and then click on flow then it will basically show you the again old traditional way to create the flow you will see here right start from scratch and something like this now with the release summer uh, release summer 25 what has happened basically no matter from where you create the flow you will see the improved ui for uh, selecting the flow so this is my release enabled org again i am following the same process click on create and flow you will see that uh, I would be seeing the improved UI for creating the flow and that's basically the one of the feature that we have got that is rolled out for all over the places to create the flow. Next is basically uh, in the screen flow we have got some visible pickers, visible indicators where we can add the icons into our screen or we can add the icons into the drop down, the pick list drop down, right. So let's basically go to the screen, select a screen flow and this is one of uh, this is another uh, enhancement that we have got which is the canvas itself uh, the earlier canvas if i have to showcase you into the different org which is not release enabled as of now then you will see that for example i'm selecting the same screen flow you can see here the canvas is, looks a little bit uh, different than the canvas that we have into the release enabled org the background itself has been changed we have got a start and end screen uh, with the different options right now <coughs> this is basically something that we have got now if you click on plus and say click on add and I would say create contact I'm just putting some random uh, things over here now you can see here this is the, the screen property itself has been changed this is another small uh, thing but which is really good we have an option for previewing the screen into the large or medium or a small screen that is another important update that Salesforce has given to us which actually helps us to understand how our flow is going to look like at various devices uh, into the different different screens right now apart from these two we talked about the visual pickers so you just have to search for visual pickers again these are basically for the uh, screen flows okay the visual pickers are the screen flows if you go and drag and drop here you will see there is a visual picker component uh, i'll just say select text stack okay now in this case if you see here i've got a properties i've also got a style tab over here if i want to make sure it is a required i'll require it and then i can add the multiple choices here so let's add the choice here uh, we will select choice and the first text stack i would say salesforce admin that is the first text stack choice value is salesforce admin okay click on done then i would add another choice which is going to be a choice here and i will say salesforce uh, development right so here 
Salesforce development is another tech stack. Maybe I will say another one just to show you basically the different things over here. I will say integration or maybe say I'll say AI development because we are talking about AI a lot these days. So I'll select AI development as the third tech stack and click on done. So if you see here, this is basically all the different different pickers here. I can see currently just showing me the lightning icon. If I go to the style, I can select basically uh, how many uh, columns I want to show, maybe the half of the portion of the screen, how I'm going to align it, uh, middle or bottom, something like that I can see over here. Under the properties, how do we add the columns, uh, how we add the icons to this text stack. We can edit our icons. Even when you are creating these choice labels, you will see uh, choice options basically, you will see something called uh, icons. You can choose the icons here. These are basically provided by the SLDS icons, utility, doc type and standard. Currently we don't have the custom icons so we are not able to select custom ones. But let's say I am selecting something like uh, Apex. Uh, I am just selecting random okay not making sure if it is admin or not right similarly i can go to a development choose icons and i select uh, apex or maybe apex alternative i'm just selecting different icons here and then we have got ai right <coughs> choose icon and then we select something called ai uh, maybe add something it's not ai related action but i see here click on done let's save this okay i'm just saying uh, summer 25 release so this is basically a simple screen flow we have got now you see the canvas has been completely changed and if i click on debug it will take me as usual to the new screen where we can basically look at the preview here right after running the flow so you can see here uh, i select whatever it is selected it takes me that it says that this is what you have selected right similarly we talked about that uh, in this uh, next release now we have got uh, uh, the icons into the pick list values right so let's go ahead hover over to the screen if you click on that screen it, it is going to open you or you can click on these three dots and then you can click on basically uh, sorry yeah just click on this screen to open now from the left hand side search for pick list and select uh, drop down the pick list maybe into the either bottom or to the top wherever you want you can give the pick list name maybe text stack that's the label i want to give it is again the required and we can select the same options that we have basically created for the previous choice the same option we just have created over here and uh, <clears throat> if you go to the style you can again select how many one how many of them you want to have you want to have to the middle it is now is basically uh, sorted down to the middle along with these two uh, columns right click on done save and we will again debug it and this time you will see that the pick list option is uh, the pick list value will also have the uh, visual pickers the icons basically you have oh you're not seeing the icons over here sorry um this is not the one where we have the icons i think it is choice lookup sorry yeah, this is this this is not the one uh, I forgot. It is choice lookup. Okay, it is the choice lookup. We'll just select the choices again on because uh, there there are different things right with the same thing though. So I just uh, got confused between these two. It's it's basically a choice lookup again. I'm saying um, six of twelve middle. We've got over here and we'll go ahead and save. Okay, let's debug it. And we will see that uh, how the choice lookup will basically contains the icon over here. You can see here. So it was not basically the one uh, which we had like uh, I, I was talking about pick list, but that's not correct. It's more about the choice lookup. So instead of pick list, we can always use the choice lookup and have the different uh, beautiful icons as per our uh, use cases and users will basically love these icons. The next thing that we have got is uh, in terms of uh, record triggered flows where we basically have uh, some error uh, specific to errors we have got something related to debug so let's create another flow here we will uh, try to create another flow called uh, a type of record triggered flow and i'll show you what are the improvements and what what basically we have got again the canvas is going to look like same i'll say 
account and uh, industry does is null false i'm just uh, putting something now you see here one thing is that is this flow making an external call out or connected uh, connecting to an external system this is one of the improvement that we have got for the account uh, record triggered flow where we have uh, an option to basically add the synchronous path you can add we can do that whatever we want again i'll so save the flow i'll say summer 25 release summer 25 release okay now here let's try to add a get record element right <coughs> let's try to add a get record element over here and i'll say get related contacts object that we want to choose is basically the contact I'm not adding any filter this is required and if I click on go ahead and save so as soon as I click on save you can see here now we are getting the error is specific to element right so this is really really important that we have got now it is talking about which particular element is failing uh, before this particular release we really didn't have this option where we were able to see how the record is failing right now I can say okay go ahead and search for account equals uh, maybe triggering account dot id however this is not going to be the perfect example because our flow runs on created so we'll select it as updated so that we have the ability to choose the contacts okay and then we can uh, select maybe i'll say another get record right i'll say another get records over here i'll say get uh, related opp uh, the reason I'm basically having because I wanted to showcase uh, the next improvement that is basically the um, what we'll say the next improvement that we have is basically the debugging opportunity the debugging capability of our flow so what is this next we have basically got this flow okay this is here now earlier what we used to have is we used to click on this flow and then uh, there was an option to add the fault path right now how do we add the fault path we hover over to the component click on dots and we select add fault path and then we add whatever we want as per our error so this is how basically our screen will look like if we are adding the fault path to the elements now let's go ahead and click on debug we have we will have to select basically an, an account so i'll select on the updated and i'll select an account and we just go ahead and click on run okay it did not triggered because uh, i think that account did not have the industry populated so i'll select the account and then okay come on oh, i'm sorry it's uh, updated so i'll select the industry and make sure that the industry is populated for this particular account could be any other industries now you can see here right so we have got this debug details if you click on this icon uh, it is going to expand this you can again use this particular uh, uh, to expand or collapse uh, sorry to increase or decrease the width of your debug and then you can basically say expand all it's going to expand all the details over here there are no contacts there are no opportunities it has failed you can also search based on whatever you want for example if i search for this particular account id then it is going to basically put wherever that particular account id is being used so this is really an in improved basically you can do a copy you can copy paste somewhere uh, wherever you want and then debug it uh, uh, in your uh, basically different uh, tools like uh, vs code editor or something that you want you can say so full debug logs it's also going to show you the full debug logs you have some settings option so api name governance transition boundaries so you will see basically the most of the things over here what is that um, so-called queries and all those things you will see over here so this is again uh, i really love this feature this is really a fantastic feature for salesforce automation especially flow because salesforce is uh, talking a lot about flows these days and this is really really an amazing feature that salesforce has introduced for uh, debugging the salesforce flow and improving the debugging capabilities of our automation tools next thing that we have got again in the same uh, salesforce flow uh, that we have got is the composing email right so earlier the send it to email was really bad let me show you okay let's try to send an email here send email you send email action this is my org which is not preview enabled and you see this is how it looks like it, it is okay we can 
have basically we can add the body it's a single line where we are write all those things right now in the summer 25 release if i go ahead and say okay send email not email alert send email that action okay now if in this here uh, you will see there is basically uh, an awesome things that we have got i'll say send email to contacts now here if you see we have got recipient address list and all those things recipient address collection cc we have got cc bcc all these things we are not there if you go back here you will see cc recipient were there but CC, uh, recipient collection were there but CC uh, <coughs> the recipient list they, there was there are a lot of things which are missing here which we have got over here now we can add the carbon copies we can have the black black convert copies right now here sender type also earlier we basically used to type here if you go to the sender type you had to basically type it manually and there is a possibility that you do the typo mistake but now we have got the drop down here you can also use the resources to search right you can use the sender type pick list like current user or by default sender email address you could have the resources maybe the variables or something or you can basically type the email directly over here so that's basically uh, another improvement here now we have got compose email con content or we use the email template earlier <clears throat> what was happening is in this there was a lot of confusion that we were not able to understand uh, which particular parameter is required when we are using the email template which is not required and we were getting the error whenever we were trying to save our flow now salesforce has made it easy for us to say okay if you are using email template id you have to provide me email template id if you want to send certain attachments uh, you can provide attachments who you want to send it what particular record it is related to maybe account contact i'm um, not contact account opportunity or uh, custom objects that you have then you have some advanced option uh, which one you want to use these are basically the app versions okay if you say okay i don't want to use the email you just say okay i want to compose it you write down your subject you write down write down your body in the rich text format now you see here the, imp the improvement here earlier we were having a very simple body one line now here i can add multiple lines right whatever i want i can add the images i can add the links whatever i want then i can say okay this is my rich text body use line breaks i will say yes do i have attachment ids who i want to send and uh, which particular record is related to this action that is basically again an amazing improvement that salesforce has given to us it's it is really really an amazing improvement that we have got and you see here the error we have already talked about so that's basically th these are a few of the really uh, some really cool features related to salesforce flow one feature that i have found which is not related to salesforce flow but i can showcase you it's more related to the integrations and connected applications so if you go to app manager from the setup and you search for app manager you will see there was there is basically used to have something called new connected application now we have got new external client application so now the connected application the concept is kind of uh, getting deprecated uh, depreciated and uh, salesforce is kind of getting rid of that i can showcase you the same into my old into my previous org which is not at all enabled with the release currently so if i go here you can see i have got the button called new connected application and when i click on it then i see an option called create a connected app and create a client item client external app but here i've got the new external application and then i'll basically navigate to this uh, ui and this ui also has been a little bit improved so these are some of the features that i've got for summer 25 i'll make sure that i keep the treasure hunt on I'll, i i, I say the different different features that i find out before they actually land it into your developer or into your sandboxes and if you're new to this channel please do uh, like share subscribe uh, this is really important and gives us the motivation for us to create more and more videos i know we have been uh, very late for creating the new uh, videos here but uh, now we are back again and we will definitely try to create two videos minimum one to two videos every week for your learning so 
thank you guys uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you into the next video thank you